The CPUs in the latest PCs run faster than ever, and every CPU needs some form of cooling to ensure that it stays within the manufacturer's recommended temperature range. If your processor overheats, your PC can lock up or act erratically, and your processor may even be permanently damaged. And keeping it as cool as possible can extend its life and better protect your investment. In the past, system builders had the option of using a stock fan provided by Intel or AMD with their CPU. But with Intel 6th generation core systems, a fan is no longer included. So if you're building a new system, the type of CPU cooling will be one of your first decisions. There are two types of CPU cooling available, air cooling and liquid cooling. Most budget PCs come with air cooling. If you're building your own PC, you might want to use air cooling if you're only doing basic computing tasks like web surfing, and you don't mind the fan noise. If you're running high performance applications or playing the latest games, your CPU is going to work harder. So you'll want to consider upgrading to a more efficient liquid cooling system like the Hydro Series model installed in this PC. Here's how each technology works. Air cooling works like it sounds. A fan pulls air from inside your case and draws it across and away from your CPU. Some of the heat from the CPU is transferred to the air. Some air coolers use heat pipes and fins for better performance, but the science is the same. Liquid cooling is more effective because it's more efficient. Instead of a fan mounted to your CPU, there's a cooling pump that draws cool liquid across the processor and then directly to a radiator attached to the inside wall of your PC where the liquid is cooled. This is called an all-in-one cooler because everything is self-contained. All-in-one liquid CPU coolers are usually quieter than air coolers because liquid is more efficient than air for heat transfer, so the fan doesn't need to spin as quickly. Your system gets better cooling with less work. Installing an all-in-one liquid CPU cooler is straightforward. It's similar to installing an air cooler, with just one additional step of attaching the cooling radiator and fan. All you need is a screwdriver, and installation should take less than 10 minutes. All-in-one liquid CPU coolers are often called closed-loop coolers because they come pre-filled. You don't need to worry about leaking or refilling the liquid. All-in-one liquid CPU coolers come in various models to support the level of cooling that you'll need. Single radiator coolers are ideal for most high-performance PCs. The radiator and fan attach to the standard 120mm fan mount that you'll find on virtually any PC case. Dual radiator coolers provide roughly twice the cooling surface volume to accommodate for the higher temperatures your CPU can reach if you're pushing it at full capacity most of the time. If you're running graphics-intensive games and applications, or if you're overclocking your CPU, you'll want the extreme performance of a dual radiator cooler. They come with a wide radiator and are available for 120mm fan mounts and 140mm fan mounts for maximum cooling performance. In summary, an air cooling system might be right for you if you're building or upgrading a PC that's only going to be used for basic tasks, and you're working in an environment where you don't mind a little bit extra fan noise. If you're building a high-end PC and you want quieter, more efficient cooling, then upgrading to an all-in-one liquid CPU cooler is an excellent choice. Thanks for watching.